Whenever you hear about CERN these days, it tends to be dominated by news from the Large Hadron Collider and its search for fundamental particles. There are plenty of other programs going on here at CERN, covering a wide range of different science. I've come along to one of them, known as the Cloud Experiment, which is investigating processes in the Earth's atmosphere and the effects these might have on the Earth's climate. I'm about to meet project leader Jasper Kirkby to find out more. Well, the cloud experiment is this uh, large chamber uh, behind me. And uh, what we're trying to do with the cloud experiment is we're trying to understand uh, what the connection is between a cosmic ray going through the atmosphere and the creation of uh, so-called uh, aerosol seed, the seed for uh, a cloud droplet or an ice particle. And to do that, we've made a very, very clean, large three-meter chamber here made of stainless steel. In it, we uh, put a selected uh, trace gases and very pure air, humidified, and that represents a parcel of air that we've selected somewhere in the atmosphere, and we expose it to a beam from the CERN proton synchrotron as an artificial adjustable source of cosmic rays. And we see the effect of the CERN beam on the creation of these seeds uh, inside the chamber. What's a cosmic ray? Well, a, a cosmic ray is a subatomic particle. It's typically a proton, and they've been created by supernovae explosions somewhere in the Milky Way. These are going on all the time, and the, uh, they emit a huge amount of uh, high-energy particles, just like CERN accelerators. And these wander throughout the Milky Way, and eventually some of them may arrive after a few million years, traveling at the speed of light. They may arrive at the Earth's solar system, and if they're aimed just right, they might, may hit the Earth's atmosphere. When they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they collide very high up at about 10 kilometers and produce a spray of particles which come down and penetrate all the way down to the, the bottom of the Earth's atmosphere. And uh, these particles create a very weak ionization in the atmosphere, about 1,000 ions per cubic centimeter. And um, these may be uh, responsible for uh, helping the formation of these seeds. Uh, which, which then become the seeds for cloud droplets. I mean, do these, these scientists and climate scientists in general, do they agree on the role that aerosols and clouds play in, in the global climate? What's absolutely clear, everybody agrees that clouds uh, have a huge effect on the climate. Uh, but the understanding of how big that effect is, is really very, very poorly known. And the IPCC, for example, uh, finds that uh, mankind has affected the clouds over the 20th century. And um, they've caused a cooling effect, but they have very big, large un uncertainties, very big error bars. And that's partly a result of the fact that the basic science, the basic understanding of how these aerosol particles are formed, that me those measurements haven't been done yet. And we're doing those measurements now with cloud. So I guess the project must involve scientists from across quite a range of different disciplines then. Yeah, it's, a, it's certainly an interdisciplinary experiment. The main, we have about 20 institutes, and most of the scientists involved are atmospheric and aeros uh, aerosol scientists. We also have particle physicists. I'm a particle physicist. I mean, uh, these are little particles, subatomic particles, um, and solar physicists and cosmic ray physicists. But we have assembled, we've attracted into the experiment what I believe are the, not I believe, they are, they're the top aerosol scientists in Europe and also America and also from Russia. And uh, it's a, it, we've uh, got a very exciting team and truly a dream team. And uh, we're, we're making, uh, as I say, uh, very great progress now as a result of the combination of this experiment, but plus the quality of the, uh, the guys and the women who are working on the team. And why did you choose CERN to locate the machine? The, the connection between the cosmos and Earth's climate uh, is maybe what nature has uh, decided. We don't know, that's why we're doing the experiment. But on a more practical basis, the reason why the experiment's here at CERN is uh, firstly, of course, CERN has this beautiful artificial source of uh, cosmic rays, which is adjustable. We can turn a knob and turn the intensity up and down on the beam and see exactly the effect that's going on here. We can't do that in the atmosphere. Secondly, um, and very importantly, it's taken an enormous amount of know-how, CERN know-how, to actually build a chamber that's clean enough and a gas system that's clean enough to do these experiments. 
uh, impurities inside that chamber of one in a million million molecules can spoil the experiments. So we put extraordinary attention uh, and uh, CERN technology to building this very clean chamber. And we've managed to do that. It really is, we believe, now the cleanest chamber in the world. How did the project come about? And have you reached any exciting results yet? Well, the, the project started uh, 13 or 14 years ago. Uh, in fact, uh, there was a lecture given by uh, Nigel Calder, who came to CERN and gave a talk on an observation, a satellite observation of Svensmark, which seemed to show that cosmic rays may be associated with cloud cover. And that started me thinking about how one would do an experiment here at CERN to actually measure that directly, because correlations don't prove cause and effect. And so uh, I came up with the idea for cloud and then basically went on a roadshow around Europe talking with atmospheric scientists and seeing whether there was an interest. And very quickly, uh, the top people in Europe got very interested in the experiment and we proposed it to CERN. And uh, after uh, quite a number of years of work, we, uh, the experiment was approved. And now we, we've built it over the last three years and we've, we've taken data for the last year. But what I can say is that the CERN beam and in fact indeed the natural cosmic rays that are going through the chamber have a very large enhancement of the production of these particles inside the, uh, inside the chamber and we've quantified that for the first time. We've also for the first time measured molecule by molecule the growth of these particles through this so-called critical stage. Nobody's done that before so we, we've made uh, several very important discoveries which uh, if you ask me in two or three months I'll be able to tell you about them in detail. Okay, Jasper, thank you very much. Pleasure.